Hello and welcome, this is Eagle Eye 621 and what you see behind me to the left and to the right is the new shaky sand or quantum ticking is now boat free. So you can see behind those our boat versions have been decommissioned because you don't need the boats. There was some potential stability with leaving them but it's finicky enough it's really just not worth having. You can build these much more compactly if we don't have to worry about the boats and I will show you how to build these things along with the collection systems because they do work with the cactus that you see here as well as sugarcane and bamboo. You see we have a small one that can handle two of these shaky sands. We have a slightly larger version that can handle four and then you see if we sort of make this an inside out we have one that can actually handle eight if you put them on the inside and the reason that we would do this is for an ease of collection system when it comes specifically to the cactus. And I'll show you how to put the collection system and the harvesting system for the bamboo and for the sugarcane as well. And you can see that we are actually having a 9,000 cactus per hour going on right here. And that's because you'll see that this stack that I left here to test is not changing. And this is actually growing. This will grow at about 10 per hour because the quantum ticking is three times the normal speed of zero ticking. And that means that the cactus are growing 9,000 per hour extra between the four of them, plus whatever their natural growth is, which is about a dozen per hour between them all. So this little module right here is actually 12 times the speed of a normal zero ticking crop. Now it is unstable if you log out of your world, this machine will break, the sand will either collapse and break or freeze and you do have to break it and reset it. So if Mojang is watching, hopefully he won't think this is too overpowered because it's really more of a starter booster than anything you can set up for your long term needs. There's certainly nothing over there in the distance. As you might be able to see in the corner of my screen, that's a larger, flatter, too wide version of this certainly does not exist so hashtag please no patch we're in the releases there's no reason to change the mechanics of shaky sand let me show you how to build these things and the most important part is the timings so this is for the one or two shaky sand and not a lot of materials that you need let's get those into the inventory let's just come up a couple of blocks to get away from the ground then we're going to make a 2x3. We're going to put our repeaters facing in opposite directions in the middle. We're going to put our redstone dust, like so. And then we have pistons that are facing into each other on either side so that they push into the same middle block. And then we can put our redstone down and give that a one tick pulse. And now we can put our shaky sand on it. Now this won't work 100% of the time. Sometimes the sand will break, sometimes it won't shake. So you may have to try this a couple of times. As you saw the first one broke, the second one started shaking. And now we have our two shaky sand version. Obviously you only need to put one of those if you want. So you can have a one shaky sand version. The materials for our four shaky sand build are these right here. These are the materials to make the farm itself. And then these are the materials that you'll need in order to kick it into action. So we'll move a little bit over here. And again, come off the ground a little bit. And this time we're making a 3x3 three three with a hollow center. We're going to have our redstone repeaters facing in the same line so that they all feed into each other in a nice little circle. And then we put our dust on the corners. Again, we're going to come in with our pistons and we're going to face them into each other connected to these redstone dust corners. And we'll do that on all four sides. And then one last side right here. And then the key with this one is on the timing. You need to set opposite corners off at the same time. So we're going to take some of this stone connect it to the opposite corners and then our redstone block goes right here we're going to take our dust do not put dust on this block that will freeze the whole system 
and then our one tick pulse and that'll set this corner and this corner off at the same time and then both of these corners will alternate on and off every game tick. And now we can break this, break this entire setup that we just put here. And you can see everything looks like it's sequencing properly. And we come along and place the sand. Again, it won't work every time. You may have to try it a couple of times to get it to work, but it will work eventually. And one last one. And now we have our four shaking sand set up. And then last but not least, let's do our inside out with the potential for eight. And I'll show you how to make the eight version as well. And this is the materials we need for the farm. These are the materials you need in order to get the timings correct. Let's get those into the inventory, give ourselves a little more space. And let's come up off the ground again. And we're going to want to go seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then turn the corner and add six more. So this is already one, but we're adding six more. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Another six more in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then just connect these. Should hopefully line up if you've counted correctly. We're going to put our redstone repeaters in the center. So you can see we're in the exact center on each side. And again, we're all facing in a giant circle, so they're all feeding into each other. And we can come in on the inside and place our pistons like this, so that the middle block is the repeater. That's the block that the pistons are going to be facing into. And one more over here. Now, if you want, as I said, you can set this up for eight. You do the same thing on the outside, like this. Again, the middle block that they're pushing into is lined up with the repeater block, or the repeater component. And then one more. And if you do this, then obviously you need 16 pistons as opposed to the eight. And we take our redstone dust, we drag it all the way around, like so. And now again, we need to set off opposite corners at the same time so they'll all sync properly. So we're just going to take some of the stone and bring it over like this. And then we can do the same thing over here. Put our redstone block in the middle and drag the dust across and drag the dust across. Do not put it on this block. It will freeze the whole machine. And you can see we're connected to this corner. And then we're also connected to this corner. So when we make our one tick pulse, both of these corners are going to turn on and then the opposite corners are going to turn on and again they're going to be offset on a one game tick clock speed as you can see. And now we can destroy what we just put down there as our blocks used to set this off properly. And then you can go along and drop all of your shaky sand down. Now, if you want to set up the cactus farm first, you just have to do the trick where you align the hopper minecarts with the hoppers that are going to be placed on the inside. And I don't need to go around and do this all. You understand it's the same principle. You keep doing this until you have all of these sand shaking, and then you can plant your crops. And now, in terms of how to get the crops, you can see we have our cactus set up right here. And this is the same basic setup you've seen a whole bunch of times. This hopper right here would be where the chest would be so you could push the hopper minecart over a little bit onto this and then you plant your blocks and as we can come in here and see this number still hasn't gone down this number is going up ever slow slowly and slightly meaning we do have 9,000 cactus per hour flowing through this hopper right here but if you want to set this up for your sugarcane or your bamboo then these are the materials you're going to need. This is the crop harvest. This is going to be your clock system. These are the materials for the sugar cane. And these are the materials for the bamboo. And then obviously a hopper and a chest in order to collect everything. 
So let's set it up over here. I'm just going to do one of each, but you can obviously do all four of whichever you want. We're going to put a block there just so that we have something that we can surround. Break that. We're going to dump our water in there. And now our sugar cane can be planted and work like so. Now I'll show you how to make the harvesting clock at the same time because this is where we're going to want to break the crops. So we come along on this side and we're going to take our observers and we're going to place two observers facing down so we can break this one and put one facing up. And do not push a observer into this. That will create a one game tick clock. We're looking for a one redstone tick clock, which is a two game clock. And then you can see that we are setting off all of these. And for your collection system, you can just put down a chest and then you can put down a hopper facing into that chest and then if this was your real farm you'd also want to come out and put some guide blocks just to make sure the crops don't go flying everywhere like so and then if you had set this up from the beginning all your crops will end up in this hopper and you can add more blocks down and around if you want I'm going to go on the other side for the bamboo just break that so it doesn't get too annoying because this is shaky we can't plant the bamboo it will break off so we're going to need to use our trick where we use a dispenser in order to put the bone meal and fast grow the bamboo before it is able to shake off so we're going to put a block like that and then we're going to come up one and we're going to put our dispenser facing inwards like this and we can take our redstone dust and just steal this signal. And you only should need one die, excuse me, one bone meal. Do not convert that into die or it won't work. And then I'm going to click on the edge of the block so you know I'm not just double tapping this with creative mode. And if we get lucky, it will work on the first time. Let's try again. Second time. But only use the one bone meal that was in there. That's all you need. Then we can break all of these things, break this and that, and you can see we have our bamboo. So now we can bake our collection system, which again is just to come up with a chest and a hopper into that. And then if this was, well, I'll show you that it works by putting down the observer. Again, don't push it in, place it down facing. Uh, if you make a one game tick clock, this gets very messy and the crops fly everywhere. And again, you would outline it with your blocks in order to make sure that the crops actually go where they need to be. Now, in terms of rates, we are looking at right over here. We're looking at for the cactus, you get 2,250 per hour. And this is per cactus for the sugar cane you're looking at approximately 1400 per hour and that's using this specific clock there are ways to get a little bit more out of it which are a little bit more complicated again that's 1400 per sugar cane per hour and for bamboo you're looking at about 6000 bamboo per hour and that is again per crop now you can get more out of it with a faster clock but it becomes a lot harder in order to contain. You have to sort of glitch a hopper minecart in here. And at that point you still have issues because it is actually more than the 9,000 that the hopper can handle trying to take it out. So you may end up with some entities floating in your world, which is not great. These are on the ground because I didn't properly surround that prior, but this is clean when you set it up correctly. It's really not worth going faster when you can have four of these modules from one of these things pumping out 6,000 each. So this device right here can be set up to pump out 24,000 bamboo per hour. Again though, this is not unload safe. If you fly away and come back, it should still be here, but if you log out of your world and come back, the sand and the crops will have broken. If you found this helpful, I would appreciate a like, and for more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. 
especially if you're curious about that thing that does not exist in the distance, which is certainly not a too wide flat version of this for a little bit ma more mass production. So again, do be sure to subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.